Hello and welcome back to Abacet Math. In this last uh, Pythagorean triple video we're going to further explore the generator function that we developed for uh, producing these uh, reduced Pythagorean triple sets. So just to remind ourselves we were solving the Pythagorean equation x squared plus y squared equals z squared for x, y, and z uh, in the set of positive integers and we also are looking for reduced Pythagorean triples so we're looking for a set of three numbers that share no common factor, so their greatest common divisor is 1. And what we found is that we produced a generator function, which seemed to be quite uh, convenient uh, for any pair of positive integers, t and s, that are of opposite parity, meaning one is even, the other one is odd, and are both relatively prime, so they don't share any common divisor. We can generate uh, the value of x as 2ts, the y value as t squared minus s squared and the z value for t squared plus s squared and we examined a few cases here let's just review them real quickly 2 1 is uh, relatively prime and uh, of the odd uh, parity one is even the other one is odd and that generates the 3 4 5 right triangle the set 3 2 generates the 12 5 13 right triangle 4, 1 generates the 8, 15, 17 right triangle. 4, 3 generates the 24, 5, 25 right triangle. And uh, one, one thing I wanted to point out here is that uh, in addition to generating these numbers quite easily, uh, there's one relationship that, that also proves to be uh, convenient, and that the value z is given by the sum of the squares of t and s and that kind of reminds us of a circle formula where this r squared is basically the hypotenuse of a right triangle so essentially we can use this this relationship to try to explore uh, the the values of, of t and s in a graphical format so let's go ahead and do that let's draw out a graph here of T and S and I'll go ahead and make myself a little graph paper here and let's try to plot out these uh, solutions uh, on this uh, uh, XY coordinates for S and T so we're looking for s equals 1, t equals 2. We're looking for s equals 2, t equals 3. Uh, s equals 1, t equals 4. And we sort of notice a pattern here pretty quickly. We notice we're kind of restricted to t greater than s because of this condition that y is t squared minus s squared. So we're basically looking for solutions above the 45 degree line and that when we uh, look for uh, pairs of T and S that are relatively prime and of opposite parity, opposite parity being kind of the operative word here, we're basically forming this kind of crisscross pattern along this lattice. So these are all the available points that are uh, uh, of opposite parity, one odd and one even. And then we have to go through this set of points to, to see which ones are, are valid uh, reduced triples because we also require that T and S are relatively prime. So in the case of uh, 2, 1, that certainly uh, works. Uh, 3, 2, that certainly works. Here as well, here as well. Uh, 5, 2, 5, 4 is fine. 6, 1, 6, 3, nope, 6, 3. Is uh, actually shares the common factor of three, so we don't include that one. Uh, but six five is okay. Seven two, seven four, seven six. Those are all okay as well. So when viewed in this uh, in this uh, graphical format, we can basically now look for uh, the question of how many reduced Pythagorean triples have, say, a hypotenuse less than some threshold value, and. Uh, one threshold that's that's pretty convenient is to look for threshold values where the hypotenuse is less than or equal to 25 
And if we look for a hypotenuse value that's less than or equal to 25, we see that corresponds to a circle radius of then 5. So let's draw that out, a circle radius of 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. And what we quickly notice is that our circle now encompasses uh, four points, which we basically described in this table here. And we know from this graph now that we've determined basically all possible reduced Pythagorean triples with hypotenuses um, less than or equal to 25. So that basically exhausts the set of possible solutions. Um, the next probably convenient threshold to look for is hypotenuses uh, less than or equal to 49. And if we plug that into our equation here, and a hypotenuse of 49 would then correspond to a circle of uh, radius 7. So let's draw that out. A circle of radius 7 would look something like this. And now that would pick up uh, not this one, we just kind of missed that one just barely, but we've picked up three additional solutions here. This point, this point, and now this point. This point doesn't count because it's not a reduced Pythagorean triple. And so that's the condition for the uh, hypotenuse to be less than or equal to 49. And we can continue for larger thresholds, but you, you basically get the idea. And we see here that this is a very convenient way for categorizing and, uh, and uh, listing uh, Pythagorean, reduced Pythagorean triples. And it's very convenient for us to basically quantify how many solutions, how many reduced Pythagorean triples are there for a given uh, maximum hypotenuse. So I just wanted to point that out. And with this, we'll uh, send you over to a uh, problem set, and we'll check back and review those problems uh, in the uh, next video lecture. So good luck with the problem set, and we'll see you after that. Bye-bye.